Let's go though. All right, so next thing we're gonna do with this little guy is teach him a little bit of patience. We're gonna start introducing the stay command. The main thing with the stay is the dog needs to understand when it begins and when it ends. So you wanna have clear markers, a clear lane that the dog's supposed to be in. So we're gonna start with the word stay and we're gonna end with the word free and we're gonna see if Mr. Macho put it together. You ready, you wanna learn? Let's learn some stuff, okay? You ready? Come here. So we're gonna ask him to sit and then stay. One, two, three, free. And what you want to do is you want to keep track of your time so you can adjust. Say if he gets to four seconds, he starts messing up, but you've never counted, so how are you going to know to fix it? So again, sit, stay. One, two, three, free. Good boy. No, it's right here. Good job, good job, good job. <laughs> you ready? Let's do it again. Sit. Stay. One, two, three, four, five. Free. And right now, I'm not even letting him get out of the position when he gets that reward. When he hears free, he's still in that sit, but he's getting his reward. Here you go. <laughs> Don't want to step on him, right? No, these little sit. things. Stay. So now we've got to about five seconds. Now we're going to start very slowly moving away from him and go back to the dog and release him again. Free. What's on your chin? There you go. Good boy. After you start moving away, then you want to go back to him and start letting him get up when he hears that free command. So stay. Go back to him and free. Good job. Good job. So then he starts associating that free command with movement, with getting up. So now he understands exactly what's expected and we want to increase the distance just a little bit to see what he knows. So we're going to ask him to stay. Good boy. And then free. Yes, oh boy, good job, good job, yes. So again, with the stay command, you want to mark the behaviors, keep track of your time and your distance. So with this dog, what we would do is just extend out the time. We'll go from five seconds to seven seconds to 14 and keep extending it out. But for the first 21 days, you always want to return back to that dog so they have a clear understanding what's expected of them. So when you start adding distractions, they understand that word, but stay means stay and they're not supposed to move till they hear free. So. Come back again for more. It's Stan Smith from Iron Sharp K9, T Fit, Big Bully Kennels. Holla at us. <laughs> <laughs>